Hey guys, I wanted to make this little video about a little clip of Charles Stanley I listened to the other day. I just wanted to show everybody something. Uh, over the years, I, I've been aware of Charles Stanley, and as far as I know, to my knowledge, he's, he's pretty accurate on the gospel and eternal security. Okay, I've, but I haven't really listened to Charles Stanley a lot to know if he teaches right on everything he teaches. But I do know from the clips that I've heard of him that he's pretty he's pretty accurate on the gospel. But I came across this little clip that I wanted to play for you guys about him talking about the gospel. Every time I've heard of him talk about the gospel, he talks about eternal security, about the truth of once saved, always saved, and that Christ has paid the penalty for all sins, past, present, and future. But he says something here in this little clip that uh, is confusing and it could confuse a lot of people. It kind of seems like he's trying to say something else right after he says it, but let's see if you guys can catch it. Here we go. Thank God that's not what the Bible teaches. You see, there are some people who are fully persuaded. You mean to tell me that having sinned the way I have now, I know God saved me. You mean he's going to take me like I am? Listen, it is Jesus who suffered. And you see, I've said this before and i said it again. When you do not understand the atoning death of Jesus Christ and its full impact, past, present, and future, you just get all haywire in your theology and what you understand about a lot of things in life. When you don't have that right, you have a right to end up saying, well, surely, I mean, for example, somebody says, well, you know, uh, I sin every day, or I'm not what I ought to be, I'm better than a half backslidden condition. You mean that God's going to take me in my backslidden condition and take me to heaven because I've been saved by the grace of God, by the blood of Jesus Christ? Absolutely correct. Amen. And if there were any other way for him to get you there, tell me what it would require. It requires some kind of other process. He said, well, maybe he cleansed me on my way up. <laughs> no, no, uh-uh. There's not going to be any cleansing on the way up. He says we are forgiven by the blood of Jesus, cleansed by the blood of Jesus, and nothing but the blood of Christ. Amen. Listen, it is our human nature. It is our carnality. It is that sense of unworthiness and guilt that many people live with that they absolutely cannot believe, cannot conceive of the fact that you can die and be in the presence of God. On the other hand, there are those people who are so wiped out in their understanding of truth, they just think you can live any old kind of way and get to heaven. No, you cannot. Apart from the blood of Jesus Christ, nobody has ever gone. All right, you guys catch that? He was on a roll. He was going great. Preaching the truth, the gospel, eternal security. And then at the very end, he puts, then there's some people out there believe you can live any old way you want and get to heaven. No, you cannot. And then right after that, he adds, no one can get to heaven without the blood of Jesus Christ. But right before that, he says, there's some people out there that believe you can live any old way you want to and still get to heaven. Well, by that, the gospel, after you're saved, you can. The fact, the, the truth is, you can live how you want to. Because all your sins have been paid for. And you will still get to heaven. Because you're saved the moment you believe the gospel. Now, is it expedient? Is it beneficial to live however you want? No. But the fact of the matter is, once you're saved, all things are lawful, but not all things are beneficial. But Charles Stanley is going awesome on the gospel. Then he says, there's some people out there think you can live however you want and still get to heaven. It's the first time I've ever heard this man say something like this that is opposite of the gospel. What he said right there was a legalistic uh, comment. All the legalists, all those self-righteous uh, lordship salvationists are always saying, you can't live however you want and still get to heaven. you got to live perfect. you got to live 
somewhat of a clean life. Now, right after he says this, he follows up with, you cannot get to heaven outside the blood of Christ. Now, there's a small possibility him what he said, he might have been meaning actually there's no way I mean he might have been meaning some people believe that you can be a Buddhist you can be that you can be this you can be that still get to heaven but the way he said let me rewind this real quick if I can well I might not be able to rewind it but everybody you can play it back he after he preached the gospel he canceled it out with it's just confusing. It, it, this confuses people. Once you hear all your sins are paid for. Past, present, future. Nothing can separate you. And then he said, well, there's some people that believe they can live however they want and still make it to heaven. No, you cannot. See, that right there is confusing. Even if he meant well. Still, that's, that's not true. A person can live a horrible life and still make it to heaven. Because why, everybody? Because it's not about the life you live. It's about the life that was given for your life. Christ's life for yours. Okay, I just wanted everybody to see this confusion. As far as I know, Charles Stanley, you know, up until this point, I mean, he seemed awesome on the gospel. He just got through preaching it. Then he says this. This is what we're getting nowadays, though, just like Charles Lawson. Seemed awesome on the gospel. And then he starts preaching uh, Lordship Salvationist. Salvation, basically. Charles Stanley, awesome on the gospel. Then he turns around and says, you can't live however you want and make it to heaven. I don't know. It's just, guys, you, you guys tell me what you think about this. There, like I said, there's a small chance he, he worded what he was trying to say wrong, but... Even if that was the case, this is gonna. This will confuse a lot of people because they will hear all sins paid for, past, present, future, going to heaven no matter what after you believe the gospel. Oh, but can't live however you want. You won't make it to heaven. See, that's confusing. That's two different messages. If all your sins were paid for, what does it matter? How does it? How how does how you live determine your eternal destiny if all your sins are paid for? It doesn't. How you live has nothing to do, okay, with getting to have heaven, okay, or being saved. It's what you believe, what you trust in. Because according to what you have believed, it's going to determine whether you are born again or not. He that believeth on me, if you believe the gospel, well, you're saved. Uh... It's simple. I just want to show everybody this confusion. Uh, I don't know a lot about... Like I said, Charles Stanley is not one of the preachers that I've listened a lot to. I've listened a little bit of him throughout the years. But I've never delved into what doctrines, every doctrine he teaches. I've never delved into what he believes. Okay, on everything. But every gospel message I've ever heard him preach, he's spot on, but then I come across this, where right after he preaches the gospel, then he preaches this, you can't live however you want to get to heaven, you know, now if he would have put said, there's some people out there that believe you can believe any gospel you want and make it to heaven, see that would be true. Yeah, you can't believe anything. You have to believe the truth. Because that, because because accepting the truth is what God's prescribed order of salvation. You believe unto salvation. Okay. It's a, it's about what your faith is in. But guys, I'm going to end this. Uh, if. If anybody really, if Charles Stanley is like anybody's pastor, any of you guys that really listen to him a lot or something, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to 
uh, take a jab at Charles Stanley. I, I don't have anything against the man. It's just what he said right after he preached the gospel. It's just kind of confusing. Because it's the opposite. The gospel is you believe the you believe the truth. You're eternally secure no matter how you live. So you so the statement he makes right after he preaches the gospel basically, or preaches the truth of eternal security, is not agreeing with what he preached. The fact of the matter is, it is true that. How you live is going to determine uh, on how, I mean, the circumstances in your life are. Yeah, if you live a freak, if you live a, a life of debauchery and wickedness, the, what does the Bible say? If you live after the flesh, you shall die, okay? God doesn't want that for us. But a Christian could still do those things and still go to heaven because according to God, they are they have the righteousness of Christ. They are perfected in Christ. So no matter what they do, it could not change God's view of them. They will suffer the temporary uh, circumstances down here and um, consequences, but after you believe that gospel, just like when you're born as when you're born into this world, you are born into this world. And there's no changing that. Just like when you become born again, there's no changing that. Once you're a child of God, you're a child of God. Once you're a child of the flesh, once you're born into this world, you're born into this world. Once you're born into God's family, you're born into God's family. And there's no scripture that says you can be kicked out of God's family after you are born again. But, guys, let me know what you think about this. Like I said, I'm not trying to bash somebody, but the statement he makes after this really does not line up with what he just preached. God bless everybody.